India has achieved a major naval milestone with the induction of advanced autonomous navigation and control software, an indigenous autonomous maritime software by BEL and the Indian Navy. Powering unmanned fast interceptor boats, it enables remote, waypoint and fully autonomous operations in dense sea lanes. With AI-driven navigation, sensor fusion and collision avoidance, the system is CallRec compliant and IR class certified. Already deployed in mine warfare and combat drills, advanced autonomous navigation and control software places India among elite nations in maritime autonomy. Raghu Vamsi Advanced Systems is emerging as a backbone of India's indigenous aerospace push, becoming a key partner in developing critical line replaceable units for the Tejas MK2 fighter. These modular systems are vital for rapid maintenance and combat readiness. By embedding private industry into core fighter architecture, India is accelerating self-reliance in advanced aviation. Raghu Vamsi Advanced Systems' role strengthens reliability, reduces life cycle costs, and marks a decisive shift toward a sovereign, ecosystem-driven combat aircraft future. India's battlefield transformation was on display in Jaipur, as the army showcased Asteria's at 15 drone, mounted on a BMP-2. The move highlights the army's shift toward organic, real-time aerial surveillance for mechanized units. With 120-minute endurance, 20-kilometer range and VTOL launch, at 15 enables armored columns to see beyond the horizon. Its parade debut signals operational maturity, reinforcing how indigenous drones are reshaping India's modern combined arms warfare. India's Army Day Parade has confirmed the induction of Medium Altitude Persistent Surveillance System, a solar-powered, multi-day endurance surveillance drone. Developed by New Space Research and Tech, MAPSS can loiter autonomously for days, delivering uninterrupted border intelligence through EO and infrared sensors. Backed by a Rs 168 crore IDX order, the platform offers a persistent aerial eye over sensitive frontiers. This marks a major leap towards sovereign, round-the-clock ISR, bridging the gap between satellites and conventional UAVs. India's BSS material has unveiled the BART UHS-220, a multi-role unmanned helicopter for logistics, medevac, maritime support and strike missions. Featuring a twin-rotor tandem design, it offers exceptional stability in mountains and at sea. Modular bays enable rapid roll changes, from high-altitude resupply to armed operations. With precision hover, sling load capability, and autonomous flight systems, the UHS-220 fills a critical gap in India's heavy-lift unmanned aviation capability. India's long-range artillery capability has taken a major leap with the successful test of the Panaka LRGR-120 also known as Panaka 3. Fired from Chandipur, this 120-kilometer guided rocket brings precision and depth to the Army's strike options. DRDO expects the system to be production-ready within two years, with manufacturing led by Indian public and private partners. The next phase will see trials in Pokhran and high-altitude terrains, testing performance under real combat conditions. As Panaka 3 enters its final development stage, it promises a fully indigenous, scalable and lethal deep strike weapon, capable of hitting high-value targets far inside adversary territory. Russia has positioned its entire civil aviation lineup as a ready-made solution for India's rapidly expanding air travel market. From the SJ-100 regional jet and IL-114 turboprop for UDN-style connectivity, to the MS-21 for dense trunk routes, Moscow is offering a full-spectrum fleet. At the top end, the TU-214 promises long-range, high-payload operations, enabling non-stop flights across Asia and the Middle East while supporting mixed passenger cargo missions. With a two-pilot cockpit upgrade due by 2026, the aircraft aims to meet global standards. For India, this presents a rare opportunity to access a complete aircraft family, as Russia seeks a lasting role in its aviation ecosystem.
India stands at a historic aviation crossroads. Rafale must be the final imported fighter, not a permanent crutch. The next five years must belong entirely to Tejas MK2, AMCA, Ted BF, HLF T-42 and IJT-36, building a complete indigenous combat ecosystem, from training to air dominance. AMCA must be treated as a strategic mission, while sixth-generation fighters and stealth bombers are planned now. At the core lies the engine challenge, a sovereign 120 kN and future 140-plus adaptive engine. Without indigenous propulsion, autonomy is impossible. India now designs radars, carriers, and missiles. There is no excuse left. From now on, India must fly what it builds and build what it flies. India's proposed Rafale deal will see 18 jets arrive from France, while 96 are built in India, transforming the country into a major Rafale production hub. Valued at around 3.25 lakh crore rupees, the agreement could be finalized by 2026. The Indian Rafale F-4 Star will feature enhanced electronic warfare, improved connectivity and indigenous weapons. Safran is expected to localize M88 engine production, with up to 60% Indian content. Nearly 200 engines will be made domestically. The deal also prepares the fleet for future F-5 upgrades with the powerful M88 T-Rex, keeping Rafale combat ready into the 2030s. The Indian Air Force is preparing to field three to four variants of unmanned combat aircraft as loyal wingmen, firmly anchored in a man-in-the-loop doctrine. Rejecting fully autonomous kill systems, the IAF will retain human control over every engagement. HAL's 2.1-ton collaborative combat aircraft is set to fly by 2027, operating alongside Tejas MK2 for ISR, electronic warfare and strike missions. ADA is also shaping heavyweight strike drones and stealth unmanned fighters for AMCA squadrons, targeting induction by the mid-2030s. Completing the mix are low-cost detritable drones for swarm and kamikaze roles. Together, these UCAs will multiply combat power, while preserving ethical control in contested skies. That's all for now. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.